The process of working with DSLR footage in Premiere Pro CC is easier than ever before, and if you've watched any of the previous episodes, I showed you how you can use Premiere by itself or with Prelude in conjunction with Prelude to really speed up and optimize your workflow when working with your raw media coming from your DSLR cameras. Well, there's another element that you might often run into, and especially today because, well, they've just gotten less expensive, is the ability to shoot things multicam, and to have multiple DSLRs or even mixed cameras capturing a scene. Now, while we've had multicam in Premiere Pro for a long time, uh, we've made a lot of new changes in Premiere Pro CC that actually make it easier for you to synchronize, and the best part is we actually have some new multicam audio sync capabilities, which basically means that as long as you've got consistent audio running throughout all of your cameras, it'll synchronize audio automatically. It happens incredibly quickly. It's amazingly fast and accurate. And honestly, if you've never done multicam before and you didn't, you were worried about synchronization and using clapboards and such, well, you don't have to think about that anymore. This does it all for you. So what I have here is a series of footage, aside from the Safari footage that you've seen. These are actually some uh, clips from this children's show that I've been kind of working on for a while. And again, I can kind of double click on one of these and you can see me kind of singing there and uh, doing my thing at the piano. You can also see that part of why synchronization for me with this content was difficult was because, well, you can see what I've got there. I actually have an iPad, which, you know, very difficult to synchronize from that. But that really wasn't ideal. Well, again, now we've made it extremely easy, extremely simple, right inside of Premiere Pro CC. So what you can see is that I have four clips here as well as the master audio track. All of the audio also happened to be tracked or multi-tracked live into Audition while I was simultaneously capturing on four cameras. And more importantly, not only was it four cameras, but it was four different cameras. So if we quickly go over to our preview area, You'll see that the first clip here, 1080p at 23976 with 48K audio. This happened to be, I believe, a Canon 7D. This one here, again, 1080p, 23976 at 48K, that was a, a 5D. This next one here, this AVI clip, I believe this was, this may have been an Icon camera at 30p, 44.1 audio. And then actually the last one was not a DSLR, this was a flip camera, believe it or not, mounted to uh, the piano, basically focusing in on the hammers. Again, so mixed media, mixed frame rates, mixed audio sample rates, and I'm gonna have Premiere Pro synchronize all of this together automatically. So let's go ahead and turn off our preview area, select our five clips here, and now right click and create multi-camera source sequence, which pulls up this new dialog. Now you can see I've given it a name, we'll call it JPM for Just Play Music, multi-audio replace, and we can just call this one here. And then you have your synchronized capabilities. Now, while this may look familiar, again, this relies on whether or not you had in or out points or if your cameras actually had time code, you can still synchronize via time code if you had added clip markers, which is what I did back in the day on this media, right, where you actually found the sync points. If you had clip markers, this is how you would synchronize in the past. But the new feature is this one here, audio sync. Now, before I get there, let me just show you something and let me show you one of the amazing capabilities of this. So. When I look at this clip that we have up here, the audio is nice and loud. So obviously, trying to synchronize multiple cameras with loud audio, great. But if I take a look at this camera, the 5D, because the 5D at that time was the only Canon that allowed you to manually set audio levels, ugh, really quiet, my mistake. But again, this was actually an eight camera shoot and it was two guys working and that's what happens. So, to be honest, I was a little skeptical that this would do a really amazing job, but I shouldn't have been because I should have known that this would be amazing, and it was. So watch how this works. Select my clips, create multi-camera source sequence. Choose audio for my synchronization. Under audio settings, you have the ability to use all cameras or a custom preset. Now, why you might wanna do that is that, again, you'll see here that we have all of these various presets, including specific ones to DSLR. Now, because I have a mixture of 1080p and 720p, um, Premiere Pro is automatically going to choose the smallest frame size to bring all of those clips into, right? Just to keep things sort of visually in, so in other words, it's gonna scale down rather than scale up. This is typically what you want. So if I choose auto, it's going to go to 720p anyway. Um, in this case though, I might just actually want to choose 720p at 23976. So I can go ahead and do that. And then under audio channels, again, by default, this typically uses automatic, but I want this stereo. I know I want it stereo, I don't need adaptive, so I typically will go in here and choose stereo. I've got my name, it's synchronizing via audio. Are you ready? Okay. 
and now it's processing. Now, with four clips and audio, three and a half minutes, you're probably thinking, this could take a while. Um, and yes, with other third-party plugins, it actually took a bit of time. But as you're seeing here, as I'm talking over this, <laughs> it happens so quickly that before I can even finish talking, <sighs> it's done. It just synchronized all of that. Even with varying audio levels, sample rates, frame rate differences, everything, it's all synchronized. And ultimately, what it does for you is it creates, let me go ahead and switch into my icon view here. It's going to create a folder of your processed clips that you can see here. And then it creates automatically the sequence for you, which you see here, multi-audio replace. So at this point, I can right click and I can choose New sequence from clip. You've seen me use this already before on individual clips. Well, I can also take that multi-cam stacked sequence, choose new sequence from clip, and everything is all stacked nicely for us. Now, if we need to make any additional modifications or scaling or anything like that or color corrections if we so desire from that master, I can right-click on it and choose or control-click open in timeline. And now, if I just go full screen, this actually lets you see all the individual video clips. Again, I can resize. Uh, my tracks here so I can actually see the video thumbnails as well as the audio down here. And this kind of gives you an idea of how everything was synchronized together too, right? Which is really nice. But again, don't need that. We've already got this here. Now, how do I get into multicam editing mode? So that by in and of itself, unbelievably fast, easy. You don't even have to think about sync. As long as the audio is consistent, it'll do it for you. How do I edit now? Well, in the past, you had to go into a separate panel, a separate window. Now that window was dockable, but it just, it was just very clunky. And we heard from many editors out there, they just didn't like it. Can't we just see it inside the program monitor? Make it as clean as possible. Well, here's once again where we can use the button editor. So if I click on my button editor here, you'll see that we have this whole series of buttons that you can choose to add to your program monitor, to your source monitor. Now we have even have new options, again, inside the actual video and audio panels down below. Well, here you'll notice a new button, multicam review. I can drag this down into my usable buttons, click OK, turn this on, and now, again, now all the cameras didn't start at the same time, so I have to kind of scrub through until they're all present. There they are. Now, once again, fractional playback. Am I going to be able to play these four cameras on this system, which is running off of a native drive in real time at full resolution? I don't know. The red line tells me, what did I say in one of my earlier episodes? Eh. but I guarantee it will play back in real time, just perhaps not at full quality. So in this case, I can go into my playback resolution. Let's go ahead and choose one quarter. Again, you can see you can even go down to 1 8 or 1 16 depending upon the kind of footage you have. Go ahead and hit my JKL keys, L to play, or I can hit my space bar, or I can actually click on the playhead here. Give me one second, here we go. And now, as I click through, it's that simple. One, two, three, four on my keyboard to change camera angles, or I can actually click individually on the camera angles down there. As I zoom into my timeline here, now you can actually see all the various cameras that were used. And if I wanted to swap out a camera, let's say in this shot, this isn't very good. Um, I will actually want to use camera three here. I can simply right click, multi-camera, change it to camera three, and the shot swaps out to camera three. Doesn't change duration. Everything stays in sync. Wonderful. Also, a typical feature, sometimes people want the audio from the camera to actually follow what it is that you're seeing as you're cutting. So if we click on our flyout menu here, down towards the bottom, you will see multi-camera audio follows video. So again, this is a really wonderful way to work. And the coolest thing is, remember that we actually have the multi-track audio here. I believe actually it's present in track one. So if I simply mute, or actually I could, actually, I could have just soloed, uh, track one. When we play this back, let's go ahead and wind back a little bit here and play for you.
it's really clean, right? So this is the actual mixed multi-tracked audio from Audition, which I'm now using to reference as I'm cutting across my multiple cameras. So an incredible amount of flexibility, leveraging DSLR cameras, even non-DSLR, and different frame rates, different frame sizes, different audio sample rates, all synchronized automatically with some of our new multi-cam audio sync options, and it's only available in Premiere Pro CC. Thank <laughs> you.